everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. My name is Kiriel and welcome to my Halloween week videos. This week I'm going to be uploading every single day up until Halloween, doing different Halloween inspired tutorials, makeup looks and some other kind of like chit chatty videos as well. Since this is the first day of the five days I thought I'd kick this off with a look that you can tailor to pretty much any kind of outfit that you're considering wearing for Halloween, something that you can tweak yourself to make it suit your theme or if you just want a smoky eye I guess <laughs> but yeah I wanted to make something that would be not too much effort but you still look glam and put together and this is what I came up with obviously you can pair this with so many things but you can also tweak it and change it and I go through all of that in the video for you but yeah before we get into the video if you are new and you're just now stopping by don't forget to subscribe all you need to do is hit the red subscribe button down below and the little bell button and that'll just notify you of all my videos for this week and also my future uploads. For this week though we've got a little pumpkin subscribe button. Isn't that cute? Oh I'm a little ghost friend that appears in the intro and outro. Um, <laughs> anyway without further ado let's get right on in to this eye tutorial. Okay so this is the look that we're going for. You can use whatever base you've got. I'm gonna use the Barry M All Night Long Concealer just cause this sets down matte and cancels out everything on my lid. I'm not applying this all over my eye. I'm just concentrating it just below the brow and just slightly throughout the crease because we're gonna be using something different for a base on the lid. So I'm just gonna quickly apply this. I'm just applying it like a little line and then I'm just using a brush to blend it up towards the brow and soften the edges. It doesn't matter so much if it gets on the lid, but it's just not needed there. So don't worry if you get some on the lid, it's fine. <laughs> this is where you can make the look your own you can use whatever colors you want what I would suggest doing is having two tones though so a lighter color and a deeper color just so you can get some depth in the crease as you can see I've used purple throughout the crease today you could go for red you could go for green blue whatever you want just make sure you kind of have two to three colors to get a gradient that's just my advice. Obviously you don't have to follow it, but that's what I would suggest doing. But this is where you can kind of make it your own and tailor it to any costume you're gonna wear. I'm just gonna go in with purple today. So I'm going- Hey guys, Curiel from the future here. <laughs> I actually forgot to mention what eyeshadow palette I'm using. I'm using the Beauty Bay X Mitchell palette. Just FYI. I don't know, it slipped my mind. Okay. Continuing today. So I'm going in with the shade Morgan. It's my second transition shade and I'm gonna start creating the shape just above the crease. I am actually pushing it into my crease as well. I'm using a fluffier brush so it will automatically kind of transfer just above the crease. I'm not being particularly precise with this. I'm just literally putting the color down and then I'm starting to wing out the edges. Now I'm going in with the shade Miles High and a little fluffy brush and I'm just going to blend over those edges. Once I've done that, I'm just gonna take a clean blending brush and I'm just gonna buff over the edges to make sure it's all seamlessly blended. We are gonna go in and re-intensify these colors, but I just wanna get them down first of all. So I'm gonna go in with the shade Motto and I'm gonna go right into the crease and I'm gonna deepen this up. And I wanna make sure I'm not going above the crease really I want to really keep it tight and then we'll do some more blending in a little bit <laughs> the way I make sure that it's really tucked into my crease is I kind of come down on an angle to my eye so I kind of lift my hand up so I can really get into the crease and it doesn't so much fluff above the crease and I am just slightly winging it out with little flicky motions on the outer corner. I'm going to go back in with the shades Morgan and Miles High and just re-intensify and also make sure the motto shade is nicely blended. Okay, so now I've kind of 
evened out my eyes a little. <laughs> um, it's time to go in with our black base. Now I like to have my blender brush kind of semi ready because when you're dealing with like an eyeliner for a base which is what I'm going to be using it can kind of set down a little bit quickly depending on the formula but I'm going to be using the Maybelline Eye Studio Lasting Drama Gel Eyeliner in the shade black. And I'm just going to pat this on the actual mobile lid. I'm not taking it up through the crease or anything like that because you're going to end up blending it there pretty much. Just keep it on the mobile lid here and then I use my blending brush at the ready and I just sweep over the edges and blend it out. Remember to get right into the lash line with the black liner. You can obviously go in and tight line as well. You may look at it and feel like it's a little bit off if you haven't got it right into your lashes. I start off with the majority of the product on the center of the lid and then start patting it outwards. Using patting motions with your brush just helps blend the product already. And then I go in with my little blending brush and just buff and blend the edges. Obviously this is just a base so it doesn't have to be perfect, but I just like to get a little bit of a blend going before I go in with the black shadow. So I'm now gonna go in with the shade Mafia and I'm gonna pack this on the lid first and then I'm gonna use a little blending brush and just blend it in to the motto shade. We're keeping this pretty much on the lid area. have the black on there I'm just gonna go back in with the shade motto and re-intensify it and further blend the black shadow and I'm gonna continue that with the shades Morgan and Miles High as well just to make sure they are still there and still intense because compared to the black now they can kind of disappear a little so I'm just making sure re-intensifying the colors and just making sure it's all blended Okay, I just tight lined a little bit with the black gel liner just to complete the top of the lid. Now to add a little bit of the magic to this look. <laughs> For that, I'm gonna be using the Collection Glam Crystals. This is in the shade Rock Chick. <laughs> Sounds so 2000s to me. It reminds me of like the Groovy Chick era. Like I was totally a Groovy Chick girl back in the day. <laughs> anyway, you could pretty much top this with any color you like but I'm gonna go in with this one because I feel like it gives us the most kind of witchy vibes which is the kind of vibe I'm going for today. I'm going to just apply this to the lid and then use my finger to just diffuse it and I'm keeping it concentrated on the black. This does have a black base so this goes well over the top of black. Okay, once that is dried, I'm gonna apply some mascara, put on a lash. I would suggest a more kind of spiky or dramatic lash because it's Halloween, so why not? <laughs> I'm gonna be using Flamey by Unicorn Cosmetics just because they're one of my faves. They're not particularly dramatic, but I really like them. <laughs> if you wanna save some money with Unicorn Cosmetics, then you can just use my code, which is klara15. It is an affiliate code just to make you aware to be completely transparent. So I do earn a little bit of commission off your sale. So if you don't feel comfortable, please don't use the code, okay? But it's just there if you wanna save a little bit of money. <laughs> so I'm just gonna do a little bit of magic and you know, with a wave of my wand, I'm going to pop on my other lash. <laughs> Okay, now I'm just gonna go clean up all this fallout. I'm gonna go do my base and in a puff of smoke, I'm all done. <laughs> I don't know why, but I'm really washed out right now. I'm all chiseled and everything. I've put like a lot of dark bronzer on, but for some reason it's not showing up on the camera. So there we go. <laughs> my skin is not looking the best, so please don't look too close. <laughs> I just kind of did my base really quickly. I finished up my eyes by just running Morgan and Mile High just on the outer corner. I didn't want to add too much darkness on the lower lash line just because it can really close up the eye and because 
was so heavy on the top I just kind of wanted to keep it a little more bright underneath. For my waterline I used the Beauty Bay Pastels Crayon Eyeliner in the shade Aurora which is a very pale purple and then for my inner corner I used this e.l.f. liquid shadow in the shade Disco Queen because it's got all those purpley reflex in there I felt like it just kind of added something a little more. I put that on the inner corner and also brought it in the inner third of my lower lash line but yeah that is it for the eye look. Ooh, I'm also not wearing a nude lip. Who would have thought it? <laughs> I'm using the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in the shade Copenhagen. I think that's how you say it. <laughs> and then I actually went over it with the e.l.f. Good Eyeshadow. I just kind of tapped it over top. Don't really advise that because it kind of feels a little bit gritty <laughs> on my lips, but I just thought it would add a nice effect. Yeah, that is it for this kind of basic kind of smoky eye tutorial, I guess. <laughs> Where you can like adapt and change it for whatever you're wearing. Even if you're not going anywhere for Halloween, it may just be a little bit of fun to get a little bit glam. But yeah, you could wear this with a witch, which is what I personally feel like the purples go with best. Or you could do like a spider makeup with the purples. I mean, you can use it for whatever. <laughs> but yeah, that is it for this look. I hope you enjoyed the first day of my Halloween week videos. I'm going to be bringing you a new video every single day up until Friday. If you like this kind of content then please leave a thumbs up, it really means a lot. And if you're new and you're just now stopping by, don't forget to subscribe. All you need to do is hit the red button down below. Isn't it cute though? It's a pumpkin this week. <laughs> ah, the little things that cheer me up. Don't forget to hit the bell button as well so you get notified of all my new videos this week and my future ones to come. But yeah, I'm now gonna love you and leave you. I hope you're having a wonderful day wherever you are in the world and I hope to see you on the next one. Till then. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.